Good morning. Welcome to Jacqueline McQueen's YouTube channel. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for stopping by this morning. I hope you all are having a good day. It's a little glary outside. But what is going on on the outside doesn't necessarily have to be going on in the inside. And this morning is my day of work. Thank you, Jesus. And I woke up and I'm going to make some bacon. Here we go. I think we bought this when we went away on vacation. It's called hardwood bacon. Anyone ever heard of this? Okay. So in our house, we cooked the whole pack. Also in our house, we boil our bacon first before we cook it. And as always, you know, we keep our handy tea kettle here hot and ready. Okay, I'm gonna place the bacon in here and just let it do a little boil. And when it does that boil, pour that water off and into the oven. I don't know why we started doing this. I think, yeah, I know why we started doing it because at one time, it seemed like um, the bacon was very salty. So what we did, because we love eating bacon in this house, what we did was we started boiling it. I don't know if it was my husband's, um, this, you know, did my husband do it or me? But that's how we do our bacon. Also, don't throw away anything. We're living in a time now. We may have the problem that we had before with the paper towels, the toilet paper, start tacking, stacking up. Don't go overboard and please don't be selfish. Think about the next person. Okay, but when it comes to your vegetables, most vegetables, if not all, you can freeze them. And I just used half of this pepper. And I didn't need the other part. Usually what I'll do is I'll cut them up and put them in the freezer. But this one was a half one. I love the different array of colors of peppers. The yellow, the red, the green, all of that. So this morning, what we're going to do, we're going to watch this bacon because usually we freeze our bacon. But this bacon was in the little crisper. Is that the one crisper? You know, I don't know. But we're not going to boil this too much. We're just going to let it come up to a boil. But in the meantime, I'm going to cut up these peppers. And we're going to have, because my husband loves onions and peppers with his eggs. So I'm going to make him an omelet. Maybe I'll make him a western omelet. I don't know. I'll see. This is what we're doing. So, see you in a little bit. Hi, I'm back. This bacon is almost ready to go into the oven. I just wanted to talk to you all about the importance of getting your COVID shot. This new strand coming up, the Delta strand, I don't know too much about that, but I do know that COVID is real. I just heard the death of one of my church sisters. And what I understand is that she didn't get the COVID test. And unfortunately, this is, a, she's a younger woman than me, that's why I say this young woman. I don't think she was 60, I don't. And um, tomorrow they're having her homegoing service. You may have your reasons why you don't want to do it and whatever reasons. 
but believe me, unless you're going to stay in your house and not have any, um, what is the word I'm looking for? If you're not going to have any interaction with no one, then you do you, boo. But I will suggest that you get the shot. Because unfortunately, this mother, grandmother, daughter, wife is dead. And I'm quite sure you all may know of people that has died from COVID. And we can't say, oh, well, where did they get it from and whatever. At this point, the who, what, when, why, and we know how, is because they didn't protect themselves. Excuse me, I have to get up. Excuse me, a plastic bag. You know I'm the plastic bag queen, right? She didn't protect herself. So now, she's dead. And what happens in that area, then the family are the ones that have to try to pick up the pieces to move on because they're grieving of a loved one that passed and um, it's just sad. So if you haven't got the shot, please think about it. My husband and I, okay, excuse me. This is my peppers and my onions. Get ready to fry those up to get ready for the eggs. Um, my husband and I, we took the J&J &J because, yes, we were scared. Yes, we drug our feet and getting it. But we went and we got it. That was one shot. And um, the chances of us going back we didn't want that over our head. Oh, okay. We did it one time. Now we gotta go back and get the second shot. Mm. I don't know. And I think that's also what happened with a lot of people. That they went and they got the shot the one time. And maybe they didn't go back to get the second one. They figure, oh, well, I got it the first time. I don't need to go back and get it again. Yes, you do. If you got it the first time, you need to get it the second, you know, because it's not complete. Now, how many of you put the shiny side out or this part down? I put the shiny side up. And my husband always tells me that that's not the right way. I think it's the right way. Please put what you think in the comments. Because I would love to know. Okay? Well, it's your preference. You could do what you want to do in your own kitchen. Okay? This is a little hot here. I'm going to turn bacon on and I'm going to put this, start putting this here. This part here is very hot y'all and I'm trying to be cool but it's hot. Okay, okay I'll be back because this is too hot. I got to put this under the cold water. Cool this chip off with some water, cold water, because it was really burning my hand. Try when you make your bacon like this. You don't have to put it all neat and everything, but try to break it apart. Don't let them be stuck together. I like my bacon crispy and done. I don't like nothing pink at all. Uh -uh. Nope. When it comes to bacon, 
or pork. So this is how it's looking here. Hope you can see it. Okay. We also lost a great actor, a African American actor this week. That's like there's one thing about death. You can't ever get used to it. It can't be a thing where it is. Like, okay, today is Thursday. Okay. Thursday's so yeah. Death is not like that. It's like it always like stymies you. When you hear it, you're like, oh my God. That's wow. And it's unfortunate that he had so many facets of his life where he just touched so many people's lives, not only as being an actor. I think he was a black activist in areas. Of course the phone would ring. How many of you all do that? The phone is unidentifiable. I'm not going to get sidetracked. I'm going to continue. This man was awesome. And there's a scripture that says God would promise us three score and ten. And three score, score is meaning twenty. He promised us seventy years. And a lot of people did not live to receive the promise. So let us pray for the, his family. Let us pray for all those. Let's pray for everybody, okay? Because I know what it is. I was little. My father died when I was four. There's an emptiness there when someone dies the emptiness. You think you okay, but you're really not okay. Okay? I didn't realize how much I needed my father in my life until I was older. Yes, my mother, you know, she filled the gap as best as she could. But my mother was not Frank. My father's name was Frank Sampson. My mother was Willie Mae. I had godfathers. I had grandfathers that try to fill the gap. They did a very good job. I can say that. They did a good job. But um, let us pray for the bereaved family. Let us pray for the world. Let us pray for magistrate, meaning let's pray for our presidents, our president, our congressmen, our congressmen, assemblymen. Let us pray. Let us just pray. Okay? Now we're going to put this in the oven. See you later.